ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. So I wanted to come on here and talk about the whole Andrew Gillum situation. A lot of y'all want me to talk about that. If you guys don't know, he is a wretched-ass Florida politician, okay? So what's going down is this. Over the weekend, he was basically arrested because he was found in a hotel room partying with two white men, honey. And one done had a heart attack. He done OD'd on some methamphetamines. The other one was high out his mind. And Andrew Gilliam claims that he was just drunk. Okay, so you're hanging with meth heads, but you're just drunk. And so, um, of course, he went on this hobo apology tour. I wasn't buying it. And now the man that was in the hotel room with him is now speaking out because Andrew Gilliam claimed that, you know, he was at a wedding. He was celebrating a wedding. And this man is like, uh, what wedding, homie? Like, we've been friends for a while now, but I don't know about no damn wedding. So it looks like a lot of mess is slowly coming out about Andrew Gilliam. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch these news clips. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Developing tonight, former Tallahassee Mayor Andrew Gillum linked to a hotel overdose. It happened at a hotel in Miami Beach. ABC 27's Christian Thomas is following this story. And Christian, what is Gillum saying his connection is to all of this? Gillum says he was helping a friend in that hotel room where first responders were called. Here's what a report from Miami Beach says happened. Fire crews were called to Mondrian South Beach at one point at one this morning for a cardiac arrest. The report says when crews arrived, they treated a man for a possible overdose. A witness told them when he arrived to the hotel that night, he found Tyson Dyson collapsed on the bed. The report goes on to say that Gillum was inside the bathroom vomiting. When police arrived, the report says they found clear bags of suspected meth. Now in a statement, Gillum says, I was in Miami last night for a wedding celebration when first responders were called to assist one of my friends. While I had too much to drink, I want to be clear that I have never used methamphetamines. Methamphetamines, excuse me. The state goes, the statement goes on to ask for privacy for his family at this time. Now most people outside the Big Ben know Gillum for his time running for governor. Now despite his time out of politics, his name has been thrown around as a possible VP choice for Elizabeth Warren. Now, Tramel Gomes says this is not a good situation. It does not look good to have someone with such a high profile stature. Andrew Gillum, the former mayor of Tallahassee, former gubernatorial candidate here in the state of Florida to be caught up in this situation where drugs is included. Uh, methamphetamine is suspected to be involved in this case. And Right now, Gillum is working for his Ford Florida Action, his voter registration organization. Now, we've put both Gillum's full statement and the full police report on our website at WTXL.com. If you want to take a look for yourself, you can find those documents there. Live in Tallahassee, Christian Thomas. All right, so you guys just watched that news clip. So like I said, shortly after this news went viral this weekend, the media got a hold of one of the guys that was hanging out with Andrew. His name is Travis Dyson. And this is what Travis Dyson has to say about the situation. Y'all go ahead and check this out. So this is coming from the Miami News Times. And basically, Travis is saying this. I personally was not celebrating a wedding. I didn't know if Gilliam was in town for a wedding. He did not mention that, Dyson said. Dyson said he's known Gilliam since around last spring. We've been friends for a while, Dyson said. He then went silent on the phone and did not answer any more subsequent calls from the New Times. <laughs> Welcome to Miami, bitch. I'm done. <laughs> he ain't trying to answer nothing else. Now, what's funny about Travis is that Travis is a male escort. So right now, a lot of people are giving Andrew Gilliam the side eye because they're like, okay, you're supposed to be an astute member of society, you know, I guess that's what you can call it, a politician, okay? He's supposed to be astute. He has a wife. He has a family. Why are you hanging out with male escorts? That should be the least of your concern during this pandemic. You need to be out here handing out hand sanitizers and, and water bottles and some shit. But instead, you're partying with, with a meth head who's also a male escort. So, of course, a lot of people gave him the side eye. They said that his wife was his beard. He's obviously on the DL. So now he's apologized once again, and he's also announcing 
that he's going to check himself into rehab. This is a statement that he released, and this is also the news article. Y'all go ahead and check this out. So Andrew says, After conversations with my family and deep reflection, I have made the decision to seek help and guidance and enter a rehabilitation facility at this time. <laughs> This has been a wake-up call for me since my race for governor has ended. I fell into a deep depression and that led me to alcohol abuse. I witnessed my father suffer from alcoholism and I know the damaging effects it can have when untreated. I also know that alcoholism is often a symptom to deeper struggles. I am committed to doing the personal work to heal fully and show up in the world as a more complete person. I now need to firmly focus on myself and my family. I will be stepping down from all public facing roles for the foreseeable future. I want to apologize to my family, friends, and people of Florida who have supported me and put their faith in me over the years. I ask that you respect me and my family's privacy during this time. Thank you. Former Florida gubernatorial candidate Andrew Gillum is entering rehab, getting treatment for alcohol abuse. Gillum was named in a Miami Beach police report just last week. That report claimed that Gillum was inebriated. Officers also suspected that they found methamphetamine in the hotel room where he was with a man who appeared to have overdosed, according to that police report. Now, there is no indication Gillum uses illegal drugs. He is asking tonight for privacy. All right, so y'all just heard, you know, him announcing that he's going into rehab. You guys also watched that news clip. So like I said, this entire situation's a hot damn mess. I refuse to believe that he was hanging out with two meth heads and they was getting high as a kite. And the only thing he did was just drink on some damn Hennessy. I'm not buying none of that shit. But if he feels like, you know, he has alcoholism issues and he's an alcoholic and he needs to go into rehab, that's probably his best bet, okay? I, I'm also assuming that they'll probably be addressing other issues besides the alcoholism. This entire situation is a straight up embarrassment. But once again, it's coming from my first favorite state, Wretched ass Florida. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire messy situation, honey. Once again, concerning Florida politician Andrew Gilliam, basically, you know, claiming that he was at a wedding and ran into two strange white men who were, you know, doing meth and one almost overdosed, but he was just, you know, sipping Hennessy, and now he's going to check himself into rehab. I want to know your thoughts on this entire crazy story. Are you buying his story, or do you feel like he's trying to cover up for, you know, something more nefarious, okay? So let me know your thoughts. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Last but not least, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you can be down with the notification squad. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. All right, deuces.